Hey, good afternoon. This is the safety update for Thursday, April 14th. We had a lot of things going on this week. Obviously, Dennis Spencer and Tony D from the International were in town uh, going over a lot of the safety things that uh, we've been working on over the last couple of months. And, uh, you know, fortunately, we didn't come across any major emergencies. We run a really safe operation here, and that's kudos to every single one of you out there that takes this job absolutely seriously, and I appreciate it, and I know they appreciate it too. So what we're working on today is a completion date of July 1st to change over to the red remove before flight streamers on the bypass pins. So what it looks like we're going to be doing moving forward after today's meeting is we're going to put two bypass pins on each streamer. So it doesn't matter what streamer you grab, it's going to have the right bypass pin on it for whatever airplane type you have. So we are also going to add a little metal tag to each one and it's going to be designated with either an A or a B and that stands for Airbus or Boeing. So hopefully it's not going to be too confusing to figure out which pin goes into the correct airplane. Um, but we are going to have a uh, training module, uh, Learning Hub Reen and Sign about that. We'll have the trainers going around talking about this over the next several weeks. Hopefully have this completely rolled out by July 1st. We're still going to have, uh, I think, four bypass pins in the team lead bags, um, but that will only be two streamers moving forward. Um, so next, and this is really exciting for us, Denise is finally back. She's finally back, so it's not a one-man rodeo anymore. And welcome to her inaugural video. Take it away, Denise. Hey there, everybody. Happy Thursday afternoon here. I just want to talk to you about a couple of issues that we had. We were informed by a couple of our, our own employees that are working the bag room in the oversized basement that a couple of our vendors have been using the women's restroom down there. Um, we, they have a note on there, it's for women only now. Um, we at American Airlines here, we lease that facility, so that is designated to our own employees that are women. So women are to be using the women's restroom and the men are to be using their own restroom. Um, we are looking into installing a keypad on the door, uh, that way then all of our employees have access to the washroom facilities down there in the oversized basement. So just kind of let you know that. And also we have another issue that we were bringing up here. It's called the five foot rule. Um, we've been informed a couple of other employees too. We had an incident uh, last week, I believe it was, where we had a belt loader pull up to the Ford bin and then the, we have the engine and then a Connects runner took his rig and drove right in between that. So he drove straight at the aircraft. Um, he was not, um, doing the five foot rule where we have to stay at least five foot away from the engines of the airplane. He was directly in the middle between the belt loader and the engine. So um, they had to unhook the cart and uh, back him out that way uh, very safely though. Um, so just want to keep that in mind. Please remember when you're driving around air aircrafts, when you're pulling up to one, if you see somebody, make sure that they're within five feet of the engine calling on the aircraft and um, any uh, in our equipment and everything like that. So if you have any questions, reach out to one of us, either Jason or myself, and uh, we can help you. But uh, talk to you soon, thanks. Hey, thanks for that, Denise. Okay, last thing I've got on the radar today, we had an incident at Alpha 30 the other day, and we got really, really lucky. Um, basically, to sum up what happened, uh, two agents were hooking up a tow bar on a 737, and uh, without getting into too many of the gory details as to how it transpired, the push tug jumped before the tow bar was hooked up, it collided with the tow bar pretty hard. And let me tell you, I have never seen a tow bar move that fast in my life. It jumped at an angle because it was hooked to the airplane, probably four to five feet away from the center line of the airplane. It moved so fast, I couldn't believe it when I saw the video. And we got so lucky that it didn't go the other way because if it had gone the other way, um, our sister probably wouldn't have her legs being usable right now. So our big takeaway from this, and obviously we're still discussing uh, some of the details about this particular incident. Um, there was a fault with the hitch pin that was not connected well to the uh, push tug. So that is something that has been corrected. 
But another thing was is that uh, we got out of routine. And what I mean by that is the individual that was pushing the, or rather hooking up the push tractor, um, got off of the push tractor for a time period to deal with a problem on the ground and then got back on. And in our discussions, we figure that getting out of that routine is what changed the dynamic of that and allowed this accident to take place. Again, we got very lucky. And without assigning any blame to anybody at this, I just want to remind everybody that even when things are going wrong, when things are not looking correct, take a breath, stop, call a timeout, let's reassess and make sure that we're doing the right thing. And we're always doing what's right and always doing what's best. And that way we can all be safe. In this situation, we got very, very lucky. And I wish I could show the video to you right now. I'm still trying to get permission to show you the video because it is impressive how fast that brand new Clyde tow bar moved. I could not believe how fast it moved. So please be very careful about those sorts of things. Try and stay in your routines as much as possible because it's when we vary from those that we add complexities and we start adding cognitive load and we start making mistakes. So we want to avoid that as much as possible. So anyway, that's all we've got for today. On behalf of uh, Denise, uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.